big uh, NLP background and I'm like, um, you know, I've done like coaching and stuff like that uh, more for, for like uh, relationships or, or like just personal mindset type of thing. So what I was going to do is I was going to compile this book and call it maybe integration, which is really about integrating your life. Um, but it's not really going to be a book book. So you know how I shared like the way I, I set up my planner and everything, um, you know, so I was going to take some of the te techniques from like uh, that, that getting things done GDT system and like the way I set up my plan, some of the NLP, like smart goal settings. And basically it would be like a, a planner that you're purchasing with every day is usable pages, but in between it's going to be exercises that you're doing. And then there's going to be like daily exercises in order to achieve this ultimate goal of integrating your entire life. Um, so like my logic, for example, like, you know, I'm huge into fitness, which, which there's like four categories, right? Health, wealth, uh, relationships and family, personal development and spirituality. Um, so the way I see it, you know, it's like, you know, if my, if my woman is into fitness that integrates with my life and if my woman also helps me with my business and is into fitness then that makes my life a hundred or at least ten th three times easier because now i'm killing those three birds with one stone so the whole the whole logic of that is as you're going through it not only is it serving as a daily planner um, and you can completely ignore the, the self-help stuff, or you can go along with it and it's going to basically have daily exercises and, you know, help you refine your goals. Like, well, what do you want out of our relationships? What do you want out of your, your, um, your health, your wealth, you know? So it helps you, you know, just have a solid picture and develop this like ideal integrated life. Um, and it's almost just like a breakdown of it too, you know, maybe like a three month thing, you know, I don't know how long these little planners last for some of them make, might be a year. Some of them yeah. might be, you know, whatever, but I'm thinking like 200 to two, maybe 200 pages mm -hmm. of, of, of book mix. So it's going to be a very short book mixed in with uh, a lot of like exercise pages and like you have to do your weekly goals and your monthly goals and your like yearly goal. So just basically everything that you should be doing, it yeah. forces you to remind yourself, but it also, you know, tries to get you uh, guide you into having a more complete life, um, mm -hmm. which is, you know, what I, what I've seen costs a lot of, of mis stress within people. Yeah. 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 I always, I'm always working on that and trying to improve. There's always improvement. There's always like developing suits, like, okay, how do I integrate properly? Because life is a, just about integration. There's not like a necessarily a balance. It's just an integration of different parts of your life and how do they all go together? Mm -hmm. And it just, I do, I do think there's, there's, there's definitely a lot of people in that space. Oh, um, but at the same time, there's a lot of demand and a lot of need for it even. So um, I think I think a big part of that type of thing is convincing people or telling people and explaining to them why why they should do that. Why do they need your system mm -hmm. or your your planner? How would it help them? What are the show them show them the results, which you can do. That's just sales or yeah yeah and explaining yeah because i'm i'm thinking yeah obviously it's gonna have to have its own um marketing campaign uh behind it but i figured my logic for it it's a quick service digital service that i can offer mixed in with a product so what i was thinking um i can have it virtually you know for I don't know, 15 bucks or something, whatever, or 20 bucks, something simple, whatever audio yeah. or PDF books cost online um, or even five bucks. I don't care, you know, and then have like a free downloadable version of it. 
and then have like a, you know, if you want the digital version of it, it could be like 10 bucks, five, 10 bucks or something. But then if you want like the, the real version of it, I would, I would want to print it out in like, you know, this kind of paper. So it looks like a planner and really, you know, you go out and you can pay like 30, 40 bucks for a moleskin planner with like nothing in there. Mm-hmm. Or you can go literally buy it for strictly the planner for that same price on a, you know, like you could do published on Amazon type of thing. So that, that's my logic. It's like, if you get absolutely nothing out of it, it's just a great planner that um, encapsulates a lot of things that I feel are missing from just pa- printed paper yeah. planners. Yeah. Well, that, that kind of a thing is, it's something that even if you were, whether you decide to work on that and be make that like a focus to, to creating this thing or, or you set one day, let's say one day a week, you work on that, you spend a couple hours a week or something and, and this is something you could develop over time or, oh. and it's something you're developing already throughout your life because you're, you are doing this every day. So you just need to put that into something and create a, create a product out of it. So, yeah. So, I so I guess that the thing, you know, I've been kind of brainstorming this other book called charm that was the original intent for this, but I thought about it. I'm like, those could be two separate projects. So right now I have about an 11,000 um, word document that's already done. <laughs> so I just have to like edit it and, and, and dump it out and feel good about it. Um, so that's kind of why I had that idea. I was like, I've been procrastinating on this where it's like, I could dump this out really quick, like within a couple weeks mm-hmm. um, and then just uh get it put out and then run some ads and have that as like a side thing that I don't really have to be, you know, constantly feeding. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah I, I think if you have a, a good idea for a book or something like that, like you said, you've already written it. So do it. I think it's, it's an excellent source of, for one income, but also it's just the satisfaction. Like, I think it would be very just, it would feel good. It's just awesome mm-hmm. to have a product and you know that people are buying this book and <laughs> it's just like, uh, yeah. so it's something that, and also, you know, work on it to try to get it to be, get it to be as good as you can. And you can, you know, work, work with um, various like editors and such, mm-hmm. but then you could revise it or yeah. change the name of it into a different, like, okay, I've revised so much that it's actually a different book now. So I changed the name of it and put it out again. The Twilight series. Yeah. <laughs> Tweak a little bit and then put it out again. <laughs> Keep Star Wars. Yeah. 35. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think you're right. I, I Since I have most of it done, I might just pump it out real quick. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe send out some copies. Because I was thinking like, Worst case, it's like, it's something that I literally need. Like, I wish this existed in print for me. (laughs) Yeah. Do it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If I could publish it and post it on Amazon, like I would be my own buyer. (laughs) Especially now with, um, with published by Amazon. Yeah. You can, you don't need the investment now is, is so much smaller. Like, I don't really know so much about the the publishing industry, but I w- I just imagine that books in the past have been super expensive to bring to market just MOQ. because the investment, yeah, MOQs are just really you have to order your minimum order quantities just has to be high in order for it to even make sense. But but if Amazon's printing based on demand, it, your cost comes way down and yeah, yeah. so that okay, would be pretty cool. That's It'd be cool to to be able to go on Amazon and buy your own thing, or just you know, just to say, you know, I'm going, I'm actually going to buy it. You know, just go through the whole process of buying one just because <laughs> you can, and just to say that like you bought your own book like that. I think that Ship cool. it to all your family and just like a, a picture of you flipping them off or something. Like I'm successful now, <laughs> even though it's just like self printed. <laughs> I'm a best. Like I have a friend who, 
he has a book that he he did he actually he has two books now that he's printed on just doing just that published by Amazon mm-hmm. and yeah you know, maybe he didn't do any marketing maybe didn't sell very many sells a couple of them every once in a while but it's just the the satisfaction of knowing yeah. that he has a published book for sale he went through that whole process and yeah. that's kind of what it is for me too um, I also went into this thing called like. Um, I forgot what the name of it. It was something self-publishing, best-selling author, something, something, where they were basically, you know, it was like a seminar where they were going to teach you how to make your book like a bestseller. So what they were saying, it's like you post it and then you do like a press release a couple of days before and then you start running ads and then you like sell it for like a dollar to a bunch of people and try to get as many reviews as you can. So I'm going to have to like sit down and study that once I actually, um, you know, publish it and just, you know, just see what happens and go from there. 